Starfish. Hey. Starfish. Wake up. There you are. Are you alright? It looks like they hit your head pretty hard. I'm so sorry. Whoa, easy. Try not to panic. I know waking up all chained up like this is scary. And not knowing where you are. Oh, right. I think we're on a pirate ship. They must have seen the two of us coming out of that cave. And then snagged us when we went back onto the beach. Damn it. I should have been paying more attention. Hey, easy. Don't struggle too much, you'll hurt yourself. And trust me, I've already tried. These chains are just too tight. <sighs> hey, don't worry about me, Starfish. I'll be okay. I mean, my kind typically can last a few hours out of water before we dry out. But honestly, I've never been all the way out of the water for more than five minutes. This is definitely a first for me. So I am getting kind of worried. But I'll figure it out, okay? Hey, be careful. There's no point in panicking over it. But I wish they would have at least put me in some water. Even one of those barrels would have been fine. <sighs> oh well. But I'm sure I'll live. We need to focus on getting you out of here. Well, from what I've gathered, we're pretty far out at sea. And this ship doesn't seem like it's going to be stopping anytime soon, or heading back to land. So even if we did manage to break free, there's no way you could swim that far. That's why I'm more worried about you in this situation. If I got on the deck and jumped overboard, I'd be fine no matter where we were. I could just swim back to my pod. I know this part of the ocean like the back of my hand. But you can't swim really well. So... <sighs> That's true. They might have a small boat or a raft up top. We'd have to get up there to be sure. But how? I haven't even seen anybody yet, but I can hear their footsteps from upstairs. From the sounds of it, there's at least ten or more pirates on board this ship. And I'm pretty sure they all know there's a merman on board. I've heard a few of them yelling. Someone was actually trying to get down here to see me earlier. But they wouldn't let him. For some reason, the captain of the ship doesn't want any of the crew to look at me. Maybe he thinks I'm dangerous. If that's the case, I can use that to my advantage. And help us get out of here. What's the matter? You look pale. Are you alright? Tired. And hungry. Yeah, I can only imagine. Oh, I'm good. We can go days without eating or drinking. So no worries, Starfish. Ugh, damn it. If only I could get free from these chains. you think you can. Just please don't hurt yourself. Because if you do, I won't be able to help you like this. 
Not that I'm much use out of the water anyway. Careful. Wait, stop. I hear something. Footsteps. Someone's coming below deck. Don't move. We don't want them to think that we're trying to escape. Alright. Just don't say anything. It's better if they don't know who you are. Okay. Here he comes. Whale, whale, whale. What do we got here? Looks like we caught ourselves a pretty big fish. Oh, what's the matter? Don't want to talk? Well, that's fine. What about you, human? Oh, come on now. I know the two of you can talk. You don't gotta pretend. I could always beat it out of you. Where are you from? What's your name? Still don't feel like talking, huh? Alright, fine. What if I put the hurt on your little merman friend over here? Will you feel like talking to me then? Alright. Suit yourself. Hey there, little fish boy. See how you like a little bit of pain. <clears throat> Was that now? You want me to stop? <sighs> now maybe this merman here can't talk. But I knew damn well that you could. So tell me about this fish boy. The two of you friends or something? He saved your life, huh? Well, I'll be damned. So it's intelligent. That's interesting. Let you go. <laughs> now why on earth would I do that? See, from as far as I can tell, you're the only one around here who can communicate with this fishman thing. Merman, whatever. And me and my crew are going to make a pretty penny off of him. That's right. We're gonna set up a little show. Come see the great and mysterious fish boy. Uh, the title's a work in progress, but you know how it is. And we need you to translate for us. Think you can handle that? I already told you. I ain't letting you go. We need you. Especially if we're going to make some money here. I'm not going to sell him. That'd be too easy. He's going to stay with me and my crew and we're going to travel the world together. Make some cold hard cash everywhere we go. Look you. I don't care if you want to be a part of this or not. You ain't got a choice. And we ain't taking you back to Tampa. So you can just forget it. The two of y'all better get comfortable. Cause you ain't going nowhere. I mean, unless you'd rather sleep with the fishes, that can be arranged too. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright. You two get some sleep now. It's getting late. We'll be at our first stop by dawn. So be ready to help us put on a little show. 
You get some sleep now. You hear? Huh. All right then. Good night, little catfish. And you too, fish boy. See y'all in the morning. <coughs> Jesus. That hurt. <coughs> Don't worry. I'll be okay. Man. Now we really need to get off this ship. Or you'll never be able to go home again. I'm really sorry. This is all my fault. <laughs> I suppose that's true. He doesn't think I can speak English. So at least I have the upper hand when it comes to that. He also probably doesn't even think I can understand a word he said. The way he was looking at me. He thinks I'm just some dumb fish. But he's wrong. Don't worry. We'll wait until they all fall asleep. Then we'll make our escape. With my hearing ability, I should be able to tell when the upper deck is mostly clear. Are you still able to get out of your chains? Uh, uh. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Alright. We'll wait till the coast is clear. Then you can make your way onto the deck. Don't worry. I'll be okay. Besides, there's no way you could carry me up there anyway. If you really want to try, then we can. But if I can't get free, and there's a raft or something up there, I want you to take it and leave me here. I'm sure eventually I can find my way back to the water. I mean, we are on a ship after all. And if he wants to keep me alive for this traveling show thing, he's gonna have to put me back in the water or I'll die. I'm sure he knows that. So if you get the chance, please take a boat and go. I promise I'll be okay. I know you don't want to leave without me, but you might not have a choice. And the longer we wait, the further away from your home we will get. Then there'll be no chance of you ever getting back there. And I know you don't want that. Promise me. Please. If you can't break me out, that you'll go. Alright, thank you. It's quiet up there. You should be able to make it to the deck. Oh, that's right. He did have keys on him, didn't he? Those were probably the keys to my chains. And yours. But luckily, yours weren't super tight, so you were able to get out. Hmm. Alright. If you want to try going for his keys, you can. Just be careful. They're going to be in the main cabin. Once you get on deck, there'll be stairs to your left. And it's the first door on your right. That's where the keys should be. But are you sure you want to risk that? If they catch you... <sighs> Damn it all. Alright. Now's your chance. Just please be careful. I don't really agree with this, but... <sighs> I know you're going to do it with or without my permission. Alright. I'll be here. Good luck, starfish. You've got this. Hey there, listener. Thank you so much for your support. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe for more. 
Also, don't forget to comment so you can let me know how I did. And if you'd like to support the channel, please join my Patreon for more spicy content. Or you can join our Discord group if you'd like to chat with me. The link is down below. And as always, this is Akihiko Kai. Mwah. See you next time.